I would define redemption for Maurice as a guy who looked very much like a grown man at 18. This kid's the real deal. But had to go through a lot to figure out who he was. My definition of redemption, overcoming adversity. I just view time different than people though. I remember being in prison, you would feel yourself aging in place and you would make like these promises to yourself that I'll never take it for granted again. Maurice Claret tries to cram 30 hours into a 24 hour day because he wasted so many of them in the past. But 20 years ago, as a true freshman running back at Ohio State, Claret made the most of his college football Saturdays. He is the first true freshman to start in the history of the Ohio State Buckeyes. They started to hand Maurice the ball. I was like, wow, like, okay, here you go. Okay, he's warming up. Maurice Claret, first big play of his Buckeye career is a touchdown. Goodbye, Maurice. That's number three. And then the crowd started chanting, Maurice, Maurice. It was like, boom, the splash. And Maurice Claret was all across the country. It was like instant stardom. Claret was a football revelation and a national sensation. In the 2002 BCS Championship against Miami, he made a hustle play for the ages. Picked off by Sean Taylor. I could see Sean running down the sideline, and the first thing I identified was like, yo, he's not carrying the ball right. And I just went to pursue and grab the ball from him. Maurice Claret with the play of the game. And in double overtime, he made what turned out to be the game-winning run. Claret. Touchdown. Now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. There's no 2002 national champion Ohio State team without Maurice Claret. As it turned out, that five-yard carry would be the final play of Claret's 11-game career at Ohio State. So what happened? What happened? What happened to Maurice Claret? You self-destruct when you hate yourself. The downward spiral began in 2003. When Ohio State suspended him indefinitely for accepting then improper benefits. He sued the NFL in 2004 in hopes of entering the league a year early, but ultimately lost the case. In 2005, he was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the third round, but was cut at the end of training camp and never played a down in the NFL. He just, you know, took him into a, a bad depression. He's at that point deciding whether he wants his life to continue. Every day became a fist fight with himself and his demons. Claret turned to alcohol and prescription drugs. I was mad at myself from all of the failure. My life is just in the dumps in comparison to what I thought it was gonna be at that point. Please state your emergency. Someone came up to this lady and robbed her. He said it was Maurice Claret. After leading Columbus police on a high speed chase, police tried to pull Claret out of the driver's seat. They say he resisted. Chemical mace to subdue. Yeah, we're we dealing with four loaded guns. Why did he have a bulletproof vest on? Claret served three and a half years for aggravated robbery and carrying a concealed weapon before early release in 2010. He emerged not only a changed man but an inspired one. Really, Dad? He devoted himself to his family. That's what he does. <laughs> he doesn't want people to be left with the prison images. He wants people to know that he's not the 18-year-old kid who did everything at Ohio State. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. What Maurice has done since he's got out of prison. He did a 180. It's almost like he's replaced football with business. Claret's businesses include medical facilities, a counseling center for mental health and substance abuse. Thank you. Commercial and residential real estate and public speaking gigs. True to his promise, no day is wasted. I set my mind to something and kept my head clear. I honed the information in that I learned during my incarceration to do something better with myself. And who would have thought Claret would become friends with Warren Buffett, the fifth richest person in the world, 
Oh. Oh. But there was one piece of business still to be resolved. But a lot of history on these walls. Keep on out, Daddy. For the longest, Maurice wouldn't really acknowledge anything related to Ohio State because of the way things ended with him and for him. He wouldn't watch football games. He wouldn't really talk about it. But then the 38-year-old Claret received an invitation to join his national championship teammates at Ohio Stadium in the 2022 season opener. Rather than stiff arm the past, this time he embraced it. He can now enjoy the moment and feel that he's worth something to himself. I once read a quote and I always pair it with my life. They say, don't worry about getting even with the people who hurt you. Get even with the people who helped you. 